I think they certainly need to be far more involved in the decision making uh, within the club. I mean, at the moment, most greenkeepers tend to be at a lower level uh, when it comes to decision making. Um, they're basically told what to do. Um, they should be right at the forefront of working with the other club officials and decision makers in the decision as to what the club want out of their golf course. Um, every golf course is different and they will all want different things for their members and for visiting golfers and the greenkeeper needs to be involved in that process to actually tell the other club officials what is realistic, what they can afford to do on the golf course. So they, yes, they should be a bigger part of that decision making process. Once that decision making board or committee or whatever is including the course manager has decided what they want from the golf course then the greenkeeper should be given a budget and resources to deliver what the club wants. Um, and it should be the greenkeeper who's responsible for all of the technical decisions. Too often we see committee men, board members, who have no experience in managing the golf course, telling the course manager how it should be done. And that needs to stop. Typical golf course of 2030, what will it look like? Um, I think as today, golf courses will look very different one to another, depending on the resources they've got available to them, how they have adapted to climate change, regulations, resource constraints. There is a potential that golf courses could deteriorate quite a lot over the next decade if we don't find solutions to those problems. But that's part of the initiative, we're trying to find some solutions. And I, I feel very positive that we can find good solutions to a lot of the issues, but a lot of it will see golf courses change in their look. They will look drier in drier summers, so they won't look as green. Um, they will change with the seasons in terms of the colour and how the golf course plays. Uh, and the golfer has to be educated to expect those changes. Um, it doesn't mean we're looking at poorer golf. In fact, we're probably looking at more interesting, more variable and more enjoyable golf. So I think potentially it could be a win-win situation for everybody. We actually have a long working relationship with Agref. I think the first time I came to an Agref conference was probably in 2005. Um, so we're very familiar with Agref. We're familiar with the work we've done with the French Golf Federation and, and the government and the successful charters that they've deployed. In terms of the initiative, I feel that the French can bring an awful lot to European golf. Um, you have a very good setup in terms of the technical capabilities, in terms of the range of climates. You deal with a lot of different climates, a lot of different issues across France. So I think the experience from France could be a very useful contribution in the European context. Um, and I know how professional Agrev are in what they deliver. So I'm looking for them to be a very influential partner in this initiative.